I'm happy to hang out with you wonderful people. Pillowcases, LA Math Champ. Runs from robots. You wonderful folks. We are playing some... Uh, auction not included. We, uh, th the end of last stream, I kind of... We were working on a, uh, a petroleum boiler. And right at the end of the stream, I kind of found out that my build had one little small minor mistake that, uh, was keeping it from working. However, before we go in and test and see if it's working, I want to check one thing. The one thing about this build that I'm a little... Still... Not 100% sure how it works on, and it's because the automation is always a little mind-blowing for me, is the, um, the actual, uh, automation of the, uh, the lava coming in. So I wanted to look at the Francis John's build of this that we copied. Let's make sure I got all the automation right before I try to turn it on, so. The automatic airlock of sour gas doom, there you go. <laughs> Basically, what's up, Brent? How are you doing? Hey, Verosa, what's up? How are you doing, my friend? So, it's this little part of the build right here. I want to make sure that I got all this automation right. This is this is Francis John's build that we copied. I want to look at this, compare it to mine, and make sure I got it right. So, basically, the idea behind this is you got lava that comes in. You got two doors. Two doors that um, control the lava flow. This miner mines it out. Um, and I want to I want to make sure I want to make sure that uh, the way I did it is correct. Um, so let me look at the automation here. So basically, we have green signal to this door that lets stuff come through. This robo miner actually should be mining, I think, right now. So I think I actually need to cycle this system uh, to see it work. Uh, how can I how can I cycle this? Is there a way I can cycle this uh, system here? Um, you having fun doing uh, homework assignments for dental school? Orientation doesn't happen until August 3rd. Wow, that's cool. Uh, let's see. So this is a memory toggle. We'll output whatever signal is stored in that memory. So memory toggle. Is that what I have? Hopefully that's what I have. Which is going to the not gate and it's going to the filter gate. Uh, I think to toggle this thing, I need to change if I go above, below. Oh, above. So I need it to mine this out. I want to mine this out to kind of toggle this thing. So once it mines it out, we change it out. So, uh, let's see, what's this temperature? Uh, okay, it's not gonna go till this tile is out. Yeah, so this trigger temperature sensor says 435. It says below 435. This one says above 403. Um, basically, you want your petroleum to stay at about that temperature, and that's what this whole system does. So, just so I know, we got a thermal sensor going to a memory toggle that's toggling this door. Uh, the memory toggle doesn't have any settings, but the reset port is going to door, not gate, filter gate set to 20 seconds. And this filter gate is going to the robo miner and the, um, set port. It was not necessary to toggle. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't necessary to toggle. I just wanted to see the miner do its thing. All right, so hopefully I can, uh can remember all those settings and make sure that I did it right. That I just wanted to test, I wanted to check that so I could make sure that my build is correct. So my latest save should have the lava not going in. That's right, I have not opened the lava here. Uh, you wonder if it's possible to make a boiler without making tiles at all. What do you mean tiles? What kind of tiles? When do I go to my brother's Shogi? Uh, I'm gonna go tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow morning I'm gonna do some laundry and then I'm gonna go down to my brother's after that and we're gonna he's gonna make some food I think there might be I think we might be playing the Lord of the Rings D&D &D thing tomorrow something like that all right let me check let me just, let's check if I did this right so we got thermo sensor going to the set port and the memory toggle going to the door reset port going to the filter gate set at 20 seconds so that's not right 20 seconds. 
And... So is this right? It's slightly a different setup, but I think this is right. Uh, tell Steven you said hi. All right, I will, Scott, for sure. I, if it's possible, make only piles so you don't lose half the rock on mining it. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah, I don't know about that. So, um, Zoli, can you tell, does this look... I know it's slightly different, but does this setup look right? Does this look right? I think it's right. <laughs> uh, so I fixed the door. This door before was over one tile, so it was touching this. It looks okay to you? All right, so what we're going to do, first thing we're going to do, we're going to turn this thing on and see if it works. Um, I also put a... I put a liquid valve so that we're only letting... A thousand grams a second through here. Well, now I'm going to only let a thousand grams through. So I want to fill this up. I actually only want to fill this up to, uh... Oh, I did that ceramic, huh? I only want to fill this up enough so that this kind of heats up to 400 and then put in small amounts. So actually what I'm going to do before I open this up is I want to, I want to let all this uh, oil be in here and not in the pipes. I don't think I want the stuff to be in the pipes, the full thing. So... Uh, we're gonna do this. Cancel that. I'm gonna let that flow. Because basically I don't want the large amount of crude oil in there. I want there to be small amount in there. And then I'm gonna disconnect it so that we trickle it. I want to trickle, because this oil is very cold. I don't want a large amount of oil coming in at a cold temperature, because it's gonna be hard to stabilize the temperature, basically. So I want to get it to where the small amount is about to trickle in. Then we open up and turn this thing on and see if we can do it this way. Because basically what I want to do is I want to... We're going to be... Oh, no, that's interesting. It's going to build up. That's fine. We're going to be... I want to heat this up to 400 degrees so it's petroleum before I start trickling in, so we trickle it in slowly. I think that'll be a good way to do this. What's up, Nietzsche? Uh, a sequential start is best prevent pressure damage on the tiles. Yeah. So here we go. We're going to save it. I'm going to do a new save in case things go badly again. <laughs> As they did last time. And it's time to open this up and see if this works. So deconstruct this tile. How are you doing, Nietzsche? How's your day going? And we got a good amount of good amount of magma. Yeah, I know it's toasty. I know it's toasty, Otto. It's toasty. All right, here we go. Let's see. Uh, I need to toggle the system once this is ready to go, right? And I toggle it by doing. Uh, which one do I toggle? I think it's I think it's this guy. For a second or so. Um, okay, so what do I want? I want if this is... There. Is that right? Is the reset thing doing its thing? There's a 20 second timer, I think. Then it drops it in. Okay. That looks good, except what's overheating? This... This guy is overheating. How are you overheating? What happened there? Is this transferring heat somewhere? Do you really need two volcanoes from a boiler? I don't know, Math Champ. I've never done it. It's going to probably be more more lava, more magma than we need. Uh, you're better today. Still feel like ass, but you got your test results back. You don't have the corona. Nice. Brooks won't, won't let you back in for the rest of the week, though, so you're being careful. Yeah. I'm not exactly sure why the Robo Miner took damage, but this is heating. This is doing what it's supposed to. I just don't know. I wonder if it's the thermal interface plate heating. What's causing the heat? Is it the wires? Uh, this is still a vacuum, right? Yeah. Ah, uh, is it the ladder next? Is it this ladder? Remove the ladder next to the metal tile. Okay. Uh, I think I might need to load it. Is, did this, did the, uh, like the lava, 
transmit heat through here through the ladder let me load it let me load it because i want to get rid of that because it's gonna put a thing down there well actually it should be fine they're gonna have to they're gonna have to repair the miner but what we're looking for is this right here to hit 400 degrees if i put a little piece of obsidian there that should be fine just gonna eat a little bit of the heat Okay, so this temperature is going down now. It's transferring this heat, I think, through to the oil or something. I think the interface plates might have a radius of three. I don't, I don't know. This, this should be the same as having a small speck of oil sitting right there to transmit temperature. What's the overheat of uh, this? 275 kind of fluctuating around that. What I'm worried about is I wonder if it's going to overheat every time the lava drops because that will be an issue. I might need to get rid of this thermal inter thermal interface place. Hey, all right, we got petroleum. Is anything taking pressure damage? Okay. All right, so it did take pressure damage. So and it did create sour gas in here. Okay, so Zoli, do you know why it's doing this? Why are we getting pressure damage? We got sour gas in here, which is definitely an issue. I'm gonna have to reset. What can I do to stop there from being pressure damage? What causes that? Why did this leak? The oil tile gets compressed. Do I need this metal tile to be steel? You think it was too much oil? I'm wondering if I change this into steel. If that would fix the issue. Or do I need to jump, dump some of it out? Steel doesn't change pressure damage. Okay. So you think it was too much petroleum in there. It's the amount of liquid. Okay. So I need to actually get some of that liquid out of there. Petroleum and oil have different density. It looks like I dumped too much in there is what it's sounding like. Um, oh my gosh. Roadhouse just gifted freaking 10 subs. What the hell? Oh my god. Thank you, Roadhouse, for that random gift. Holy crap. That's uh, Clammy, Sweeney, Raven, Verosa, Murasaki, Aperture. Oh, come on. Extra... Extra Raven, Nate, and Wolf's Paul. Holy crap. Alright, so it's looking like I need to get less liquid in there. Let me let me load my thing again here. Let me uh actually let me it's faster if I do it this way, I think. I go back to main menu. Holy crap, wow, this freaking sub bomb at the beginning of the stream is crazy. <laughs> I was not expecting that. From a new gift or two, Roadhouse, thank you. Thank you for the random sub bomb. It's crazy. Well done and super generous. Holy crap. Alright, so... And let me actually go back to before we opened it. Because I did dump a bunch of stuff. I might be able to... I might have the right amount in there. Been watching my streams for a while and really enjoy them. Keep up the good work. Well, it's my pleasure, my friend. <laughs> Keep up the good work as I go on vacation starting tomorrow. But <laughs> that is super awesome, my friend. Thank you so much for that. Okay, so, so for those who are real, are the gurus of freaking auction not included, how much oil should allow in here? Should I just allow just enough for this thermo sensor to be touched, which would mean basically one full tile? Because I I think I let too much oil, so it's two full tiles. Yeah, this is the last stream today. Today is the last stream before my break because I go on break tomorrow. So. Because what I'm thinking is, if I just let in just enough to barely fill this, will that still cause pressure damage? Because I need the thermosensor to sense the temperature, right? Um, try it with the amount I have, but it won't work as a thermosensor here. Or are you saying, will it will it will it expand when it turns into uh, petroleum? What's the density? Can I look at density of crude oil? How do I know the density of it? What does that have to do with, like, specific heat capacity or something? There's probably some petroleum down here I can click on, right? 
Oh my gosh. Nietzsche just gifted four, five subs. <laughs> my god. Thank you, Nietzsche. Uh, why does the sensor have to be on the second level up? I don't know. That's just what the build that Francis John did. Did. It expands into petrol. Alright, well, let's... Let's try it with this amount, then. Let's try it with this amount. Uh, let me delete this thing first. Oh my god. Nietzsche doing the thing, too. Just add to the party, Nietzsche. You're crazy. This design is worse than the one that just used an aqua tuner for heat, in my opinion. But I'm I am already committed to this build. This is the one that um, Francis John did, so... You think if I just move the sensor down one tile? I don't know that it'll hurt it. This is just what Francis John's build was. You think that would be better? I'll change it if you think that's better. Oh my gosh, these subs are crazy. Let's do it. I can I can get in here from the side. So let's move the sensor down one and try it with this amount of crude oil in here. Uh, you say this design is worse than the one that uses aqua tuner for heat. Um, yeah, but I, I want to use magma for heat because I've never done a build that uses magma for heat. And I have a bunch of volcanoes on this map. So I want purposefully, I purposely want to use the, um, I'm purposefully using uh, magma because I've not done it before. So let's, uh, what is this made out of, is this made out of steel? Made of aluminum. Let's actually make it out of steel too. I think they should be able to reach this. Uh, Aqua Tuner version is space level tech, so I might not have that tech yet. Anyway, so we're gonna sweep that up. So let's move. Let me let me also deconstruct uh, the wire. I don't think will be an issue. So automation thermo sensor made out of steel. Let's put it right there. I guess the thought might be that it heats up too fast being right next to the metal tiles would be the reason. I don't know. Sensor position is fine. That's a bit of buffer because of crude oil cooling. <laughs> okay. All right, well then. Uh, never mind. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put it here. I'm going to put it on the bottom row. We'll see. We'll see what happens. For at least starting up the thing, maybe I'll change it once we get it working. Uh, yeah, you got Roadhouse with your gift. <laughs> yeah, that's a perfect uh, example of gift and thou shalt receive. That's right. Okay, all right. So let's try it this way. Um, I haven't let any more oil, so I'm just going to do an over right here. I got rid of that one ladder. I'm not going to let any more oil in. I just want to see if we convert this amount of petroleum, if it'll get pressure damage again. So... Let's give this another try. D Whizzle on point. What a name. Thank you so much, Paul. Appreciate it. What a crazy start to the day. Freaking subs and follows and all over the place. Y'all are amazing. Making me feel good about going on break. I should go on break more often. Wait, that's not right. Okay, so that's in place. So we cycle it by doing this. Above. Below. Subscribing. Thanks for subscribing to the Old sweat hand for the four months. Thank you so much, my my friend. Appreciate the continued randomness. All right, that didn't let quite enough in, but this should still get enough heat to change this. Damage overheated. Something is almost overheating. I'm gonna guess that's the Robo Miner. This is doing a weird thing where the temperatures fluctuating between overheating and not overheating. I don't know what's causing that. I think it might be, I think it might be this wire got really hot and it's transferring the heat strangely between these two tiles, but it's not overheating. So we'll say it's fine for now. Your donation said Austin barbecue, but it meant Waco barbecue if they have barbecue there. Oh, did you do a donation that hasn't come through yet? Okay. I'll, I'll translate Austin to Waco. Okay. Let's see. So this is going up. But thank you in advance, uh, Shogi. You're you're awesome. Love this community. This community is amazing. You y'all are awesome. I love you guys. I love you guys. Probably need to change that to vanilla melted or something. Maybe so. Okay. All right. Uh, you know what I didn't do? 
I didn't replace my tiles. However, thankfully, it's only petroleum that went up here and not oil. If I can quickly fill this in, this might actually work. It's not overpressurizing, and it's just petroleum going back, back flowing, which is good. Although it's, the petroleum is negative 14 degrees. Okay, we didn't have pressure damage, so I think that's a good sign. You know what I didn't do? I didn't change this number. Uh, it needs to be... Was it like 400 or 401? Is it above or below? If it gets below 401, that's when we want it to open or close. Y'all help me remember. Is it above or below? The mod plate seems buggy. The close when below. So that means it sends a green signal when it's below. Green signal opens the door. So that should be above then, I think. So it should be above 401. Yes, that looks right. Okay. Put one more tile in, and I think this might, we might be about there. So this is above 401. I know y'all can't see this because it's behind my head. That's above 401. This one's below 435. I think that's right. Uh, let me let me show this. Hopefully y'all can see behind my head. These settings right above 401 and this one back here is below 435. I think that's right. So basically when this gets below 435 degrees from this thing losing its heat, it'll let that it'll mine it and let that thing through. I think I can start trickling this in. Uh, and the problem is I have a lot of oil. I think I want to trickle this in slowly. Before I do this, this is looking like we're almost where I need it to be. Let me save. Uh, let me do a new save. Save as Rand Rhyme 3. Quick save real fast with different name before we add in. Yes, yes, yes. Good call. You're, you're right where I need to be. You're, you're there. Ready to need to remove the ladder by the Ignis Rock. Half your thermal mass. This one? Uh, so you're saying this ladder needs to go away? Okay, I can deconstruct that. I think they can reach that. Okay. Let me deconstruct that. Save again, and then we will um, slowly put some stuff in. Okay. Good, good. Save. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to let, since I, the problem is I put the uh, the valve way back here and there's already a bunch of stuff in front of it. So what I'm going to do is this. I only let small amounts in and then do this. And you can kind of see this thing working as it its temperature fluctuates. Okay, okay. Uh Oh, you know what I didn't do? I didn't change this number. Freaking hell, I didn't change this number. So it's still letting it all through there. Okay. Okay, that's working. I'm just I just want to keep it on the petroleum. The pressure doesn't get over out of hand and I think I think we're almost I think we're almost there. I think we're actually almost there. Uh, if you end up with throughput issues, then you could try moving the sensor back to the original spot. Okay. So basically, if there's too much uh, crude oil not transferring here, that's when I want to kind of stop the flow. Okay. All right. This is... We're getting there, folks. We're getting there. We're getting there. Oh, something just took damage up there. Is this... um? This is weird that it's flowing back and forth there, but okay. Alright, so it's it's turning that slowly into the petroleum. I don't know what I saw take damage up here. It had to be an obsidian tile or something. Thought I saw something there. 
Okay, all right. Um, I don't want to let this flow at full bore, but I do want to actually empty out all these full pipes here. I wonder... No, I don't want to empty them out manually with plumbing. Okay, I'm going to save. I know I'm save scumming a lot. I'm going to save. I'm going to let it run until we get to the small amount, if that makes sense. If Actually, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do zero. I'm going to, I'm going to set this. I want to clear out this pipe is what I want to do. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to clear out the pipe, just like you said. Um, and also, the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to... I actually am going to... Um, let me extract a bunch of these pipe contents here. So I can flow in at the smaller amount. I like that idea, Zoli. You're, you're thinking the same way I am. This will let us let it through at the smaller amount. Flow it all into a liquid tank. That's true. I could do that too. Um, but I have my oil just right down here. So all this stuff I can just kind of empty down here and it's fine. The next thing I'm going to need to do is actually set up my oil reservoirs. I haven't actually done that yet. But uh, we'll just we'll just have a bunch of oil on the ground here for now. Uh, a bunch of oil bottles that they'll have to manually move. But that's fine. It's fine. This will... This is weird. I don't remember these pipes being blue. Was there an update that changed insulated pipes to blue? I thought the insulated tiles were like orange. Maybe they changed it so that they differentiate from the gold ones. That's definitely different than it used to be. All right, all right. So I'm going to let them empty this out. And then what we're going to do is we're going to turn this one on at one-tenth of the flow amount, throughput, whatever. 1,000 kilograms a second instead of 10,000 kilograms or whatever it was. It's an update for colorblind blind mode. Okay, I like that update. That's that's good. It's it, it is nice to have that differentiate. So the blue is the insulated the gold is the radiant and what do regular pipes look like regular are white okay yeah it probably would have been faster just to build a, a reservoir that's okay we're almost this we're almost done with this we're good on calories um the other thing that was breaking while we were messing with all this last time was our oxygen generation but i fixed that as well i believe yeah our spawn here was not working but I got this all fixed. Oh, they did it with the uh, they did it with these pipes too. One thing that was happening was getting pretty hot. This auction is coming out, getting pretty hot. So actually, um, change these from insulated pipes so that it's losing more heat coming in here. It's uh, our base is actually starting to. Get too warm. It was too cold for the longest time. But the auction's pretty darn hot now. Too darn hot. Get cool, boy. Alright, so we're gonna save one more time. Save one more time here. And I think we're, we're about to be able to turn this thing on and it work, hopefully. So this is gonna let a thousand grams a second through. The reason I want small amounts too is because this crude oil is so cold and we need to heat it up to 400 degrees. So we don't want large amounts of the cold oil going in really fast. So, okay, they've updated. All right, so we saved it. Let's go for it. Oh, we got printables here. Uh, more Pakus, short. Sure. I think those will go into over here into the water. Oh, they'll go into this water. That should actually be fine too, I think, right? Yeah, we have a bunch of Pakus in there. All right, here we go. Save again. I'm save scumming like a, like a madman. I can gradually open it up as the preheater primes. Yeah, as this whole thing starts heating up, because even this petroleum in here is at negative 14C, because I guess probably the temperature of the pipes that changed it. So here we go. I'm plugging this in, letting it come in at 1,000 kilograms a second and see if anything breaks. I'm going to come back to this save. I just saved it on and if this breaks, but I'm just going to let this run as I drool all over myself and see how well this works. 
Because we haven't cycled it with using the Robo Miner and all that stuff yet either. So let's see what happens here. Because, yeah, you can see the uh, petroleum temperatures going down from the cold oil coming through. Cold oil is going to come in. It's going to heat up, turn to petroleum. That's beautiful. Nice. It's immediately turning petroleum. It's looking good. It's it's regulating this temperature to fluctuate right around 401. Hey, what's up, Moodno? How are you doing? It's looking pretty good. When the igneous rock, the tile gets cool enough, the rope miner mines it, then ejects the stone, the new magma comes in. That's the idea, Math Champ. That's what it's supposed to do. Which will happen once this igneous rock loses heat down to below 435 from this thing. So that's the idea on the build. Okay. Uh, it's crazy. I Usually, be because the oil is so cold, I'm not used to this door opening and closing so often. My previous build didn't do that. Solid tile has massively better heat transfer than debris. Yeah. Okay, this oil is not changing. I think... This oil is not changing. I think I want to go up a couple degrees here, 403. Just to make sure that's transferring enough heat. Yeah, so like this petroleum is staying below. It's not transferring the heat fast enough now, I think. It's too cold. Um, I think I need to stop this coming in a bit again. It's too cold if the door is continuously closed. No, we want it closed because it's transferring the heat. Because when it's closed, it's transferring the heat. Only one tile instead of two for heat transfer. What do you mean? There. Are you saying I should, because I have two tiles here, it's better if it's only one tile? Cut it at the valve too. Uh, yeah, it's gonna, yeah. Yeah, because it's gonna build up a little bit, isn't it? So you're saying I need to fill these two in so I don't have two tiles here. Oh, oh, I only have the one igneous rock, yes. I actually kind of need this to uh, get mined out. That means I didn't give it quite enough time for the lava to come through. I kind of manually did that. Are you saying it's not transferring as much heat because there's only one tile of the igneous rock? So if there, if there were two two tiles of igneous rock here, it would be working better. Okay, I need this to get mined out is what I need. I wonder if I can manually mine it. Rand, everything is wrong. Reset. Thanks, Budenho. You're you're really helpful. <laughs> um. How is this doing on heat? 461. It's actually, it's going down, so it will. This will kind of reset soon. Another idea for the build could be that if the temperature is too low for too long, then the close, it closes the pipe drain. Closes this if it's too cold for too long. How would you do that? I don't know how I would automate that. I'm kind of just waiting for this temperature to go down here so that it resets and mines this out because I want to test if that works too. Let's save again because nothing's broken yet. So I'm going to save it again here. What's making this challenging is the fact that the oil is so cold. You put the threshold of the temp sensor at the igneous a bit higher for speed's sake. Like what? My, currently, this is at 435. What would you put it at, Zoli? Like 500 or something? Uh, it's only got 20 degrees more to go down. I guess I just saved it. Let me put it at, it's at 455, four. Let's put it at 460. This, whoops, that should cycle this thing. 
You put it at 450. All right, we're almost there. We'll put it at 450. Got three more degrees to go. Because I just want to cycle it, see if everything, see if it lets stuff through correctly. You had 70C oil. Yeah, my oil is at negative, negative 15 degrees on this rhyme asteroid. What's up, squishy diddly do? Squish, squishoo diddly do? <laughs> I can always not say your name quite right. All right, it's about to cycle. Let's see how this works. Okay, it's mining. It didn't finish mining. Oh, why didn't it finish mining? Did I, um, hold on a second. This is at five seconds. It should be at 20 seconds. Okay. Let me, let me load that. It didn't give it enough time. I apparently didn't change this toggle thing to 20 seconds. How's my day? Pretty good. Always little things. Yeah, the buffer gate, I didn't change the timer correctly. I thought I did that and saved it, but I, I keep loading and reloading so many times that apparently different settings I don't... I don't save, apparently. When you made a petroleum boiler, you observed that there, if there's not enough heat and the crude oil keeps stacking on one tile, it can be overpressured rather than spreading into a second tile. Okay. I don't know, this is such a, such a very fine-tuned system that, like, if one little thing is not quite right... Filter gate needs to be 20 seconds. Let's do that. And let me save now that I've done that. Uh... Wait, why do I have two... Why do I have two tiles here now? How did I get a second... I don't know how I got a second automated tile. This is the one that I just loaded, right? No FTL on Fridays, no. Squishy, squishy, dilu. I placed FTL Mondays and Thursdays. Just reload shenanigans, okay. Um, yeah, because this one was 500 degrees, or this one was like 450 something, and now this is at 900. Okay. All right. Well, now I won't be able to see if this thing cycles correctly, so. That's a 403. This one we changed to 450. Let's keep that change. And I guess we're going to turn the flow back on and see what happens. Uh, save again. Save scum like a madman. So the issue was putting too much oil meant it wasn't heating up fast enough. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make this be even smaller amounts. I'm going to do... I was doing 1,000. Let's half that. Let's do 500 grams a second. Because we need to give it enough time to heat up the oil we're putting in. Otherwise, uh, it becomes too much thermal mass to heat or something like that. Valve resetting to 1,000 grams a second. What? Well, let me actually... Um, also do the same thing I did before so that we extract these pipe contents so we get the right amount coming in. Turn speed up here. <laughs> Somebody was about to do something. They're like, eh, I'm not going to do it. <sighs> All right, people. What are you doing? I literally have given you no other jobs but to just come empty this out. You've been doing nothing for years. Come on. There it is. There we go. Okay, so they changed this setting. Okay, so 500 grams a second. And let's do this thing. Let's let's see if even smaller amounts of oil, if it'll be able to keep up. Because I think because of the cold temperature of the oil, I'm, I might have to do this slower than I would do on other builds. At least until the temperature exchanger thing starts working. You have a higher latency setting because of crappy Wi-Fi. Some of your comments might be delayed. Okay, all right. Oh, you were just telling me to 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 put the valve back down. I think is what you're saying. All right. So I want this to continuously flow, and I'm hoping. I feel like right now it's just finding the right amount of really cold oil putting in here to not cool this down so much that we're not getting the 
that shift the oil changing to petroleum fast enough, basically. Okay, that's good. Another idea is to have both a temp sensor and a liquid mass sensor. Mass sensor is where you have your temperature sensor now. If the mass sensor goes to, say, 800 kilograms and you close the liquid vent. Interesting. Okay, I see what you're saying. Because when it becomes oil, the, the... So petroleum is under 700 kilograms in these tiles. The crude oil is a higher amount, is what you're saying, something like that. Then it would self-regulate both flow and heat. I like that idea. If this fix doesn't work, I might try that, Math Champ. I am hopeful that this smaller amount of crude oil at the low temperature is going to work. I'm, I'm hoping. All right. It's looking pretty good so far. Looking pretty good. Calories are going down a little bit. I'll have to check out that in a bit. It's weird. The petroleum slowly... Because we're putting so much, so little in at a time, it's going to be a while before us to make a lot of petroleum here. Yeah, it's, look, it's looking like it's working. Temperature-wise, we're hovering just over 400 in here. And this amount of crude oil is not... Um... This amount of crude oil is not unable to be heat, heated up fast enough, if that makes sense. Yeah, still in the brute force. Because we're, 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 what we need, basically, is we need this petroleum to go up here and flow back at the higher temperature so that the backflow is actually heating up the incoming crude oil. Because currently, the goal is you want your crude oil coming in as close to the 400 temperature as possible. And that's what this whole backflow thing is supposed to do. So we basically just need this to go up. It's not breaking. I think I can kind of leave this for a bit while we wait, because it's going to take a while for this. For this, with with how much crude oil we're putting, in, it's going to take a while for this to actually get to where we want it to be. Yeah, no backflow at the moment. Therefore, the heating takes time. What I think I want to do is, I kind of want to set up my oil reservoir stuff. While I wait for that to build up. Leave it for a bit, come back five seconds later, it's full of sour gas. That's that's what I'm worried that is what I'm worried about. I think it might take around two lava cycles for backflow. Uh okay, two of the two of these lava cycles. Well what I also want to keep an eye on is uh, I want to see that it resets correctly. Let me make sure my filter gate is set to 20 seconds. The 20 seconds is to give the Robo Miner time to mine out those two pieces. I'm a little worried that this thing's going to overheat again, though, because this, when the lava goes by the wire, the wire heats up. And I think this thermo interface plate transfers that heat. Um, be good to put in some 70C crude oil from the reservoirs to preheat the residual crude oil. Some 70C crude oil from the reservoirs. What? I don't have any 70C crude oil. I don't think. This is all 21 degrees. It's all negative. It's all really, really cold. 20 seconds all right for the miner. If the rope miner removed back one, would it still see the two stone tile? I don't think so. I don't think if it was there. I mean... What is this? That's shipping... Um, it would have to be up to see those. It's kind of hard to see because it's behind this little black thing. But if I go down, it doesn't see down there. It would have to be up here, which wouldn't work for the build because where the door is. The reservoirs produce crude at 70C. Ah, oh, you're talking about these guys. Yeah, I guess I guess I don't know. Since it's currently I don't have it uh active. But I need to I need to actually 
get my crude oil reservoir set up anyway. You guess it would be back one, then you delete a couple tiles so it gets the angle. I'd have to delete these tiles, yeah, like some of these tiles. I don't I don't want to do any of those changes. Um, I'm trying to think if putting a bead of oil on here would do it. Alright, it's slowly filling up. I don't want to. I don't want to change any of that. I don't want to change any of that build. If as long as the Robo Miner works long enough to do its thing and then gets repaired, it would just waste some steel every time it did it. Um, I wanted to do this cycle one time. It's the current temperature, 474. This is about to cycle, at about 20 degrees. So I actually want to watch this and make sure it works. I'm gonna do another save here. I'm so, uh, I'm so paranoid about this build. I want it to work so badly. I want it to work so badly. Um, oh wait, that guy's 454. That guy's 467. Okay, all right. It's got to go down about 15 more degrees, and it's going down fairly quickly because we're transferring so much heat to heat up this cold oil. As long as unturned sound gas, that's right. Then you replace the interface plate with the vanilla fluid bead method or something, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's true. I don't think it would. If I put a bead of petroleum there, I don't think it would do that. I did follow a guide, Moonho. This is not my own build. This is this is literally a build made by Francis John that I copied almost exactly. I I did. <laughs> Um, all right, all right, here it goes. Okay. Beautiful. That worked perfectly, but it is taking that overheat damage, but it worked. That worked. So, so the only thing that I should need to change is making it so that the Robo Miner does not overheat. And I think, I think it does need to be me putting a bead of liquid on there. Which I'm trying to figure out how I would do that. Let me get rid of the thermal. I wonder... So the, the reason you put the bead of liquid there... Is... The reason you, the reason you put the bead of liquid is so that the tra heat can transfer from the Robo Miner... to this oil, right? That's the reason you do it. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm I'm worried. I don't know how I'm going to make that work without having the liquid go somewhere I don't want it to go. The bead is for thermal exchange. Okay. Yeah, so I'm thinking what I do is I build like uh, an insulated tile here. Put a bead of just one small, tiny bit of crude oil right there. Uh-oh, this is not... Okay, we're having an issue with this not changing again. What happened to my door? My door melted. Frickin' hell, that door needs to be steel, doesn't it? Is that door made out of gold? Frickin' hell. I thought I got all the doors steel. Steel. I thought I got all the doors. God damn it. Okay, alright. Uh, alright, let me load. Let me load. Let's fix a couple things here. Yeah, it melted. To be honest, I doesn't need a reload. No, I'm going to do a reload. It's only a little bit of time. I want to do it before the reset happens, if I can. Yeah, I'm going to cut in from the right. I am going to do that. God damn it. <laughs> oh, I thought I got it out of steel. I thought I did it. I thought I did it out of steel. Why did I, th why did I think that would... Why did I make that out of gold? Okay, slow down the speed. 
Um, so basically, I need to do this. Deconstruct this guy and make it out of steel real fast. Energy of your doors can melt an FTL, melt your airlock door, and the room is forever vented. That's right. This is right before it cycled. You need to stop being rich and stop building doors of gold. <laughs> I'm, too, I'm too rich. I'm just too rich. That's right. Alright, you gonna deconstruct that? No, okay. Uh, do I have... Nope, where is that? Priorities... Where's the option for enable proximity? Let me do that. I think that means they will build using this piece of rock right here. Only door you get away with being gold fairly safely is the one attached to the Robo Miner. Yeah, this one. Yeah. Alright, this is reachable, right? Uh, Aaron's, yeah, as he's coming to do it. Good. Okay. And I hope the gold drops right here so that they can reach it and doesn't drop in here. I would hope since they're doing it from here. I guess I can deconstruct these two if I need to for that. I've ever played RimWorld. I have played Rim RimWorld uh, Roadhouse. And it's a cool game, but that game gets too punishing to me. Damn it. I know, 1k speed, it's slow, I know. But I, I want to do as much as I can in a small amount of time here. Sweep at 9. Um, so let me do the mechanized airlock out of steel. Here. Okay, now that she's picked that up, I'm going to tell them to pick these up too, just... Because I don't want anything to be in there to transfer heat, I don't think. Hey, what's up, Saucer? How are you doing? Nine. Sweep at nine. Sweep at nine. Okay, they're picking that stuff up. Picking up that one. Good. Definitely a very punishing game. Randy random takes no hostages. <laughs> oh yeah, currently I need to cut this off. Doesn't have the, the thing to transfer heat. So the oil is building up there. Hopefully, there's only 33 kilograms, so it's not too much. Use obsidian for inside tiles so they don't melt. Use gold amalgam for doors. My bad, I guess. My bad. Oh, oh, it reset. Okay, here it goes. Wow, that was a little funky. Okay, good. So that's good. Alright, so... Disable, auto repair. I'm gonna deconstruct this guy. We need to fix this setting, this thing now. Okay, so how do I fix this? So if I put an insulated tile here... Put a bead of oil on there... The, my worry is that when I put the bead of oil, I want a very small bit of oil there. Uh, oh god, that steel's getting really hot. Transferring the heat though, okay. Can I build the mi miner from other material? It's made out of steel, which is my best material right now. I think I'm going to have to deconstruct that to do this. I'm going to have to deconstruct this. Save before I do this. 
You'd move the insulated tile one down from where you say so you can drip a bit of petroleum in, then mop. No, I want it to be here. Oh, uh, you're saying so I could... Oh, uh, okay, okay, yeah, actually, let me cancel. I was, I was gonna do is I was gonna put it here. But yeah, if I put it there, I can put the, the thing there. Okay, yes, we'll do that. Uh, it's going to drop this obsidian that we make into here. Is that going to be uh, an issue? I don't think so. Drip of petroleum and then mop. Otherwise, we delete that. Michael and the magma. Well, I wanted to put the tile here so that it was blocking it. I, I don't know. I don't know exactly how this is going to work. We construct this thing. And I'm going to put oil, not petroleum, because I don't actually have petroleum in a place where I can bottle it currently. Make sure the steel is cool enough so you don't get instant sour gas. Uh, yeah, 100 degrees, 100 degrees, should be good. And I'll save right before I do it. Okay. And what I'm going to do is say sweep only. Food oil, nine. The auto bottle here. And as soon as they put a tiny bit, I'm going to stop it. And then mop up whatever's here and see if we just get, are left with a single bead here. That's the thing. It's gold, not steel, never mind. But yeah, same thing. What are you talking about? The gold door. Which tiles were colored based on the material you make them from? Yeah, that would be kind of helpful. Okay, uh, actually, well, there should be oil on the ground, right? Oh, there's not any oil. Okay, not sweep only, then. I thought there was oil on the ground from when he emptied the thing earlier. If you build your base out of gold tiles, it actually looks like it's made of gold. That would be cool. It would be cool. Aaron's... Okay, May's coming on over here to do it. Okay. So we want the tiniest amount... Is, uh, okay, there. Uh, who's... Where's May? Come do this. Do the thing. I tell you to do the thing, so we have the thing for the thing. There we go. Slow down. Okay. And sour gas. Okay, so what was hot? What was so hot that caused sour gas? I think it's the wire. I think the wire in the back is so hot. Oh, that's not going to work. That's not going to work. Oh, okay, so I don't know how to fix this then. I don't know how to fix this unless we move the... The robo miner back like you were talking about math champ and get rid of some tiles because the wires themselves are what are so hot I think delete the wires temporarily those are the power wires will deleting those wires screw up anything did the game hit 1.0 I don't know what you're asking math champ this game better than satisfactory in factory is it better it's different I can't I can't say if it's better a Bale of Turtles is a very, very different type of game. Um, ah, because even these automation wires are 700 degrees and stuff. Deleting these wires, I'm afraid, is going to do stuff to my system here. You think it's just this one automation wire? Oh, it isn't a vacuum. Okay. Well, let me, let me deconstruct and see if, see what happens, see if I deconstruct that. But yeah, it's, it's, this is a different type of game than Satisfactory and Factorio. <laughs> Gonna do it. Oh, no, nope, I'm off. I can't do it. I'm two seconds away from doing it, but can't do it. Check automation overlay, see if it'll ruin anything. Well... 
Okay, everything stayed closed and everything, so... Oh, and that steel gets cooled down. Because it kind of distributes this heat out this way, which is what it's supposed to do. 25 bucks from T-Bone Jenks. Here's some gas money and safe travels. Nice. Thanks for reminding you why you don't play this game. <laughs> You're welcome, I guess. Okay. Um, I think there's a power line behind here, too. That's 1,600 degrees. I think I have to deconstruct this line, too. Because when I pour oil, it's going to go to there. But if I think if I deconstruct those two things... I think, I think I can do this. You read that as sour gas money? <laughs> Here's sour gas money! Thanks, thanks for paying me for making sour gas. Yeah, nice donation, T-Bone. Super generous, my friend. You did that the other day, too. Super nice of you. Alright, so this steel is really hot. I need to sweep it somewhere where it won't... Uh, explode everything. If I have it sweep, I think it would sweep into here, right? Yeah, there's really hot stuff going on in here. This is like my place where they're dumping stuff. Uh, yeah, it was dinner money last week. It's uh, gas money this week. 135C out here just from these really hot... I wonder how do you how do you choose where the hot stuff goes? Uh, I thought I turned off algae going in here. Actually, there's just algae sitting over here that's probably getting turned to dirt because of the heat. Only eggshells. Algae's not allowed in here, so. Conveyor rail thermo sensor. Okay. Um, cause if I tell it to sweep this 1600 degree steel, I think they're going to put it up there. Yeah, I'm a little worried about that. If I had made this out of metal tile, it would have transferred the heat. Let the steel drop on my magma. Uh, you know, that's probably fine, isn't it? Will it melt? Will it melt and become steel and mess anything up in there, or will that be okay? Let me save. Nothing's broken yet, so let me save. If that steel drops into the magma, will that cause any issues? So we're going to do crude oil, 9, enable auto bottle. It should stay solid. Okay. I told you to cancel. Stop what you're doing. Who are you? Ren? Stop it. I canceled it. Steel melts above 2000 C. The lava has 1700 C. Okay, so I should be good. Should be good. Drop it into the magma before I add the crude. You're right. You're right. When you're right, you're right. And you, sir, you're right. That's 1,700 degrees right there. But I don't want to stop, Ren says. You have to. You have to stop. Okay, so this is going to drop the stuff into the magma. Which hopefully won't break anything. Okay. Okay, that's good. Um, okay, so... Uh, do I do this out of... I might want to do this out of metal... No, I don't want to do this out of metal tile because that will make this hot wire... Uh, this hot... This wire actually isn't hot. So, yeah, let's just do insulated tile here again. Okay, all right. I know I'm doing this slowly and this might seem tedious, but I really want to make sure we do this right because we're close to this build working, I think. So, hopefully we can get it... Figured out without breaking anything else. Uh, okay, it has no power because it's power line, right? Okay, all right. So now we have steel that's 
This door is 88C, 86C. This should all be good. The only thing that's really hot is the wire right behind this, but a very small amount of oil should not touch that. Save. <laughs> Close to working until something randomly messes it up after 20 cycles. True. It's true. It's true. Okay. Only concern is if it flashes when it refreshes. Yeah, when the lava goes through. Uh, if there's just the oil there, and it's in a vacuum, it shouldn't. Oh, paused. Oh, we're getting more lava, though. We got plenty of lava. Plenty of lava. Temperature's going down because it's actually transferring the heat to these, uh, the obsidian here, in here, I think. Okay. As soon as we get a very small amount. And stop it. Okay. That's good. We deconstruct this. Freaking save lag. Deconstruct that. Sweep that. Mop this. Pick up everything that's there. Yeah, mop and sweep. Let me pick up. I'm not going to sweep that because I think they'll use that steel for the thing there. For the, for the thing for the stuff. You have the issue of the crude flashing once you had petroleum squeezing through the wall and it turned it to crude, but otherwise nothing. Okay. And the oil's gone. <laughs> Damn it. Okay. It swept everything, man. How do I stop? Okay, all right, we have oil there. Okay, so cancel empty and just sweep. So there is now oil there. It's the door opening and closing. This temperature, okay, it's good. All right, so we have a bit of, that should be good. Um, let me deconstruct that. I think this is working. Save. Deconstruct that. We put our wire and our automation wire back in place. Uh, this is conductive wire made of steel. And then it is automation wire made of steel. Okay, so there is a bead of oil there. Yep, rebuild everything. I hope it works. Okay. Alright. Put our otter miner here. Robo miner made of steel. Right. Here. Under 38 degree crude oil, okay, that's good. Okay. Robowinder's going up in temperature, but I think that's just because this oil is... Yeah, this is all, like, exchanging temperature. So now, this should not be considered touching these two wires, which are the really hot things. Even though it looks like it's touching here, this should be okay. Famous last words. Save. So now, I think we can get back to pumping into crude oil slowly. And, uh... And let, let this thing get back to work here. Okay. Here it comes. Temperature here has got plenty of temperature transferring over. Okay. 
the uh, the moment of truth will be when it cycles again and the lava flows through. But it, I feel like because I think I think that thermo thing was transferring the heat from here over here, and uh, this oil should not do that. I know there's a lot in these first couple guys, but hopefully this extra heat here this will not mess it up. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Oh, man. Okay. No sour gas. Save. <laughs> I have save scum my life away right now. Save scum my life away. Okay. So it looks like, and I should be seeing this temperature going down. As this is keeping the temperature where it needs to be here. What's the problem with having sour gas on the minor thing? This all needs to be a vacuum. If there is any um, atmosphere in any of these places where there's really, really hot stuff, temperature goes where you don't want it to go. Because this is a vacuum in here, this wire that's gets really hot from lava flowing over to it shouldn't transfer heat over to here, which will overheat this miner. And that's what we were having happen. The miner was overheating. Here's another idea. Put an otter sweeper where the used up igneous rock piles are kept. Feed to conveyor loader and have a conveyor run along the same path as your petroleum runs. Uh, have a conveyor. I'm not going to do any of that. You can have a gas in the counterflow area, but it's not ideal. Yeah. Yeah, if you do that. Yeah, it's just it's cleaner to have it be a vacuum to avoid temperature changes you don't want to have happen, basically, I think. Yeah, I don't think I want to do a counter flow with, with uh, conveyor rails currently. I just want this to... I think... I think what we currently have is gonna work. We just have to... We have to fine-tune it. We gotta fine-tune it here. Because of our cold oil, it's making it a challenge to fine-tune this thing. But I think what we have here is gonna work. If we can get the... F Get the little details in. Uh, cause crude oil... Um... Where does it flash? What's the temperature point that it flashes to... Sour gas? Is there a certain temperature? You know, 399 is where it becomes... Uh, no more dupes. No, no, no more dupes. Not right now. The rails would flow counter to the oil in the same direction as petroleum. It would get you a bit of extra heat efficiency, but mainly cool down the igneous rock enough to make it practical for dupes to grab it and stick in your base without cooking stuff. We're talking about this igneous rock in here. No, I don't. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that, Matt Champ. Petroleum flashes not crude directly. Oh, okay. So it's the petroleum. Uh. Operation point three ninety nine. Oh, 538. Okay, so it's the vaporation point of petroleum. So it's if the petroleum goes over 540 degrees, basically. Turns to sour gas. Okay, alright. You take that rock and feed it into a steam generator. Instead, this counterflow thing already works endlessly on any volcano and has feeding two worth into it. I do like the steam generator idea. I do like that. Because I actually wanted to use a, um, a volcano for a steam power thing. So like feeding it into a place where it turning water to steam is kind of a cool, cool idea. I'm not going to do any of that stuff yet because I'm focusing on this thing working. And then I actually need to get my oil reservoirs going. So we're creating oil for this. I need to get all this cleaned up for that. But I want to just, I want to make sure this is working. I want to make sure this is working. So we got to fill up this tile and it'll start flowing this way and start actually heating up the counter flow. Once it's no longer useful for boiling oil, you can still extract some heat to make power. Right, yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. I like that idea. I'd have to basically get a... I'd have to pick up this stuff from here, put it into a... I guess we could do this. We could actually probably do that right below this thing, actually. Create some steam power from that or something. All right. First starvation is a stone hatch. 
How, how is my stuff doing up here? Seven of eight, eight of eight, eight of eight. Uh, six of eight. Okay, we're doing we're doing pretty well here. Two hundred thousand calories, so we should be good on food and all that stuff. I know there's a lot of idle dupes right now, but we are focusing on this. Okay, this is looking good. Basically, now I want to see what happens once we start flowing here and make sure the counter flow heat exchanger starts working for this thing. Rand had more dupes. He could do a massive hamster wheel operation, to generate power. Yeah, but then I need a massive amount of food to feed all those dupes. The events you're doing for your last Oni rocket of the A set are a bit of a pain. I would think all the stuff you're doing for your FTL Oni rockets are a pain, but uh, <laughs> sorry to hear that. Okay, that's going to take a bit to fill. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start digging out this area because I need to... Where do I want my oil to go? What is it? Uh, it's usually three oil reserves to feed one petroleum boiler, I think, are the numbers. So I just need to kind of start digging this area out. So I'm going to start doing that. I believe that's the numbers. I just want to just dig out this entire biome. Three reservoirs is 10 kilograms a second, roughly. I think they're just, just under that or something. Yeah. Cool. Uh, doing this across here. To dig all this out. Uh, does petroleum freeze? You can freeze anything? Yeah, I think you can freeze anything and you can boil anything in this game, right? Because there's things with um, boiling... I don't know. I've seen, seen some crazy builds people have done. But yeah, I even want to dig out all this stuff because we got fossil up here. Which is Francis John says, don't leave any fossil. Never want to waste leaving any fossil wastes steel you could be making. Uh, I don't need to do that. I think they can reach. Like that. Okay. Uh, I don't think you can freeze helium or supercoolant. You can't freeze supercoolant in pipes for aqua tuner, but maybe you can outside of them. You used to be able to freeze in pipe supercoolant. Helium isn't something you can get except space. I don't think I've seen helium before. How close are you to reset? It's still a long ways off. Okay. All right. So what is the max? So this is, um, around 800 kilograms. It still has a little bit more to fill up to start counter flowing and exchanging heat and all that. Okay. So let's just read us reach all that stuff, I believe. Helium you can only get in debug sand debug sandbox mode. Oh, okay. Okay, so I can cancel that. Just dig it out. Okay. Okay, so that's good. Um, one, two, three, four. So let's go across here. Dig all this stuff out. I'll probably have to move this pitcher pump down. What's the current flow rate? Only 500 grams a second. Half a kilogram. And it's purposefully small. 500 grams a second. It's purposely a small amount because it's it's so cold currently. Uh, we need a smaller amount so it doesn't build up too much and not able to either overpressurize or not turn to petroleum fast enough because there's too much thermal mass or whatever. <sighs> Trying to talk like I know what I'm talking about. Don't know if I know what I'm talking about, but... Uh, you know what would be a neat idea? Mine the lead by dripping magma on it until it mats, melts rather than digging in. Okay. You know from FTA videos you have to slowly get it up to temperature? Yes. And that's what we're, and that's what we're currently working on. That's exactly right. Yeah. That is what we're currently trying to do. There's a little bit of oxygen in here, but there's no water or steam. I'm purposely being very careful about not letting any water into our oil biome so we don't get steam like I got before. Although... 
You know, there's already ice connecting the oil biome. Hopefully I can... You know what? I think I might come in from the side to block that off. We got all this polluted water. I don't want to get in there. Actually, it'd probably be easier to come from below and block it off that way. Okay. Just insulate it all? Yeah, that's that's my plan. That is my plan. Okay, because currently that's my liquid pump for the oil. Uh, so let's get... Um, so let's see, for the build that we did before, this doesn't need to be obsidian, I don't think. This can just be like igneous rock or something. Uh, it's kind of a drip thing. And then we wanted a place to pump the, get the natural gas out of there. Would you get steam or would it turn to ice since your oil is so cold? Um, well, if there is water in the biome, I think eventually... Well, I might not have the issue with getting steam in here like I did in my previous one, but I'm paranoid because that's what happened to my last map. I mean, eventually, if any of this heat happened to escape up here, we might get sour gas and other stuff. You know, we don't want any of that to happen, but... Um. There, we'd want the... Um refinement uh what am i looking for oil this station what's the oil thing under is it refinement have i not um uh, oil refinery no it's not that what am i looking for oil refines under plumbing where is this thing that i'm looking for I thought it was under refinement have i not learned it research what is it called? Oil... It's called an oil something. Oil well. I do have it. Where is it? Utilities. Thank you. <laughs> Some of these things, like, I don't know why they're there, but okay. There, and we wanted a build where we had a gas pump right above it. Well, I need that to be built so I can know where that's going to go, I think. Okay, alright. Uh, Okay, good. Fill a vacuum. Saving. Oil bomb is cold. It's the magma biome that's hot. The concern is that if a feature spawn that breaks the abyssalite, insulate the magma biome. The concern is that if a feature spawns that breaks the abyssalite, insulating the magma biome. Oh, like, are you saying like if a, like if a volcano spawns somewhere that happened to break the abyssalite and let the heat break into this biome or something like that? I'm gonna have to worry about water freezing the pipes coming in too, so I'll need to make sure we have uh, insulated tiles and all that. Oh god, I think my I think my audio is getting weird again. So ventilation, gas pump. Might as well make it out of steel just to be careful. So. I want this to be a place where we're for sure no where does where does the natural gas come out of? Does it come out of this little guy right there? New printable, thank you. Um free gold, yes please. Oh, oh, it's starting to flow over. Here we go. Here we go. So you can see this petroleum is starting to heat up. Oh wow. Okay, that's 900 grams, not 900 degrees. I thought it was like 900 degrees or something. Okay, we should start having this stuff start backflowing and... And slowly heating... Here we go, the crude oil is coming in at a much higher temperature now. Okay, this is good. This is starting to do what we want it to do. Still negative 12, some of this petroleum here, but... Okay, alright. Vacuum. Still no sour gas, that's good. Oh man, it's starting to... It's almost finally starting to work. 
Uh, did it pump some petroleum yet? No, it did not. It probably increased the rate a bit since my oil is pre-chilled. Yes, let's increase it by small amounts. We'll go like from 500 to like 750. Oh man. Uh, my pump is uh, connected to this hydro sensor. So the petroleum needs to fill up the first tile before it'll start piping. Pumping. It's to help. I also think that helps regulate the temperature some to their... Having a pool of petroleum there at a temperature, I think, helps with the temperature... What's the word? Backflow regulation thing, kind of thing. Okay, we got 750 in? Yeah, okay, yep. Okay, so 750, alright. So it's about to be the more... More oil is coming in, but it's still going directly to the petroleum. That's good. Temperature looks good. Oh man, I think it's working. He said scientific works, checks out. <laughs> he said scientific words, yeah. There's backflow and temperature regulation and... We are, you know, modulating the thermometers with our hydromagrification. <laughs> I don't know science words very well. Is this so much cooler than the machine? Uh, are you talking about using the... Uh, if you were using, like, the thermal aqua tuner to do this. Yeah, this is such a cool, cool thing. Hashtag puns. So let's see what our temperature of our crude oil is inside. Crude oil's... Wow, it's getting up to about 300 degrees coming out. That's pretty good. It's coming in at 14 degrees. Negative 14. Slowly going up. It gets to zero C around here. It's going up to 100 degrees, 200, 300, gets just about up to the mid 300s when it comes in. That's looking really good. And the temperature will slowly even, I think, uh, do better even as the petroleum, as the petroleum temperature slowly rises going in the backflow here. It lives! That's a GG cookie time. You know what? I'm gonna save. Nothing's breaking. I got no... I got no sour gas. We're GG cooking time in that, my friend. GG cookie time. Petroleum boiler working. Nope. No sour gas. We're taking negative 14C oil, turning it into 400 degree petroleum. It's great. We need to stabilize inertial dampener, sir. Phase shift needs to be modulator or it's gonna blow. <laughs> All right, Engineer Captain Nietzsche. I don't know what any of those words mean. Do it. Engage. All right, so we're going to let that flow. Hope nothing breaks. Next thing I want to test is the reset mechanism working. And um, that won't happen for a while because we need this igneous rock to get down to 450 degrees. And it's currently at 1,000 degrees. So it's going to take a while for that to happen. But we did it. Now, kids, when you play with magma, watch out for sour gas. That's right. We freaking did it. All right. So for the oil wells, what I want is a gas pump to pump out the natural gas that's going to be made in here. That was going to be like made in a pocket. Where does natural gas come out? Does it come out of the little filter thing there? So if I did like... If I put my guy here, actually, I think I want it up one. I think what I'd want to do is there. Oh, that's not what I want. Probably start cranking up the flow rate. Yeah, I will. Let me let me get this fixed first, and then we'll crank up the flow rate a little bit more. Make a three by three tile block and hollow it out from below. Hey, what's up, Unstoppable? Three by three tile block call it for this light. Are saying because it's under oil, this isn't gonna work. So three by three. Um. So it'd be like this area right here.
to remove the crude from the cavern. Okay, okay. So just do something like um uh do that hollowed out and that'll give me uh, open space for the for the uh natural gas to go into. It's kind of a funky looking build, but I want I want this to be the highest point up here. I think Fresh John puts in airflow tiles as dividers. Yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. So I'd have airflow tiles here, and then I'd have the actual um, pump up there. Okay, I'm going to just kind of consistently check what's going on here. Looks good. I'm going to do it. I'm going to increase it in increments of 250. So we're at a, we were at 750. We're going to go up to 1,000. Thousand grams a second. We're so we're just slowly ramping this thing up, and soon we will have a we will start actually pumping some petroleum out of here. Petroleum out of here that we'll be able to use. What temperature is the petroleum coming out at? <laughs> yeah, so the petroleum is coming out at is getting down here at the about uh, close to the temperature of the crude oil of negative one point nine C. That's crazy to me. Okay, so now we would deconstruct this. And I can put airflow tiles here. So I'd put the, um, I'll put a, uh, a pump up there. And then, uh, airflow tiles below it. Okay. I did not tell you to deconstruct that. Damn it. All right, it's fine. Hey, what's up, Chaotic Neutral? What's up, my friend? How are you doing? Hope my raid didn't totally screw up your uh, <laughs> stream or anything yesterday. We're probably like right there. And then we would do... Hopefully this will work. Airflow tiles out of like gold amalgam. Below there, I think. Airflow tiles is a good idea. You're not sure why you haven't seen that? Huh. I think I might need to go up one more space, because the oil... Yeah, okay, uh... Deconstruct that. Okay, the oil is slowly blowing up there, actually. Uh... Okay, how am I going to do this? I think I need a little more space to work with here. I think I need to put a ladder and, and build out here and stuff. All good. Thanks. I'm doing great. It was amazing. Thank you. Oh, it was my pleasure. Uh, I can't reach that stuff. We gotta do a ladder. I can once they get through there. Pre-birthday stream. That's right, Kenny. This is this is uh, the final stream before we go on birthday break, actually. Prepare the wires, fill in the tiles, and then deconstruct the di tiles diagonally. Okay, okay. Um, I think I want it to go... Do I want it to go up one more space? What I kind of want it to be is... I want it to be there. And then have it just be one four block tile wide thing. So yeah, we'll, we'll build a diagonal. That's a good call. Let's check with the increase thing that makes sure nothing's broken. Petroleum. Vacuum. Temperature. Okay. It's looking good. Flooding. Oh, that's just the gas pump that we're building right now. Uh, let's see here. Alright, we're heating up a little bit faster now. What are we getting up to here? 248, 270, 300. This is working really well. Really well. So, yeah, about 350-ish degree... Crude oil coming out, immediately turned to petroleum, and the petroleum's back flowing. Very cool, man. Very cool. Sure, I'll take some water. And the petroleum. Getting close to the point where we'll start pumping a little bit out. Okay, so let's figure out our wires and all that, like you said. So, power. Let's go here. I don't know exactly where that's going to go. Uh, and then... Uh, ventilation. 
pipes that will go to like a natural gas generator somewhere. And can they reach all that stuff? I think they can reach all that. So And then we'll build in from diagonal, like you said, which is a really good, <laughs> good idea. Oh my god, 10 bucks from Moodin, oh, happy birthday, thank you, my friend. Oh my god. The generosity today is off the charts. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, I'm gonna be the, I'm gonna be the big 3-9. 39. No big 4-0 for me yet, thankfully. But one more year till I'm frickin' 40 and... Truly middle-aged, Ermagerd. Ermagerd. Although I'm probably truly middle-aged now, but <laughs> I'm not truly middle-aged till I'm 40. That's that's the thing. Um, so I deconstruct this. That let me build diagonally here. We can deconstruct this so we can build tiles in there. It's not my birthday today. My birthday is um, July 12th, so it's two days. This Sunday will be my birthday. That's why I'm going on break. It's celebrate my birthday and to have a little time off, basically. So I'll be able to do these, I think, diagonally. What is the average life expectancy in America, though? <laughs> uh, I don't know. A million? I'm going to be a million years old before I die. You're not truly middle-aged, so you start to go to bald. Oh, wait. <laughs> Crap! Oh, that I've been middle-aged for years! Damn it, I hate it. I hate it when I get middle-aged without realizing it. Hate it when I accidentally get middle-aged. That's what you keep telling yourself, too. Almost 37, but 40 is middle-aged, right? 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 That's right. Okay, so that should work. Pressure damage, really? So the oil is pro causing pressure damage. Well, I we don't really care about that. Just build those. If it builds though, it'll for force the oil out. How the hell are they taking pressure damage? That's crazy. Now if I deconstruct those, there should be no, no oil in there, right? Perfect. That's what we want to have happen. Okay, cool. And we even have a vacuum in there. Uh, it deletes the oil, I believe. When you put tiles in a place, uh, you delete whatever gas or liquid is in that tile if you do it that way. And let me keep... Whoa, we have a random bit of petroleum floating on top of here. Where did that come from? That's weird. Okay, no sour gas in here though, right? No. Oh man, it's beautiful. I keep looking for some small amount of petroleum to be in here. All right, I think we can, uh, I think we can wrap it up, ramp it up another bit here. So let's go up to, I'm going to jump up 500 grams a second this time. I'm going to go 1500. Save. They deconstruct the oil well thing again. Ah, oh, is that what they did? I was like, why is he doing it? I thought he was, like, repairing it or something. Frickin' hell. Utility. Goddamn. Frickin' game. Uh, make it out of gold. There. It's funny that that can, like, overlap with some tiles. That's a little weird to me, but... Okay. Alright. So... Thousand... Thousand... Fifteen hundred. Alright. Check and make sure. Temperature's looking good here. So, 170... Degrees at a thousand grams. 1,500 grams, 170, okay. Looks like temperature transfer is still looking pretty good. Looking good, man. It's looking good. We have a freaking magma-powered petroleum backflow generator boiler thing. It's awesome, man. It's awesome. Um, speaking of temperature, 
Well, okay, we haven't we haven't had this thing reset yet, so this uh, these wires haven't had a chance to get heated up. Okay, very nice. All right, so the next thing I want to do is we want to get our oil wells online and have our actual... Um, I, I want a big oil tank, basically, down here is what I want to do. Usually, there's sour gas in there. Usually what I do is just, like, let the oil sit wherever it is, but I think what I want to do is make a big tank with the oil wells inside of it. I actually only see three oil wells, so I'm gonna want to. I want to. I'm going to want to get um, a third. I find my third one for this petroleum generator. Oh my gosh! And ten bucks from Zoli, my friend. Holy crap! A bit for the birthday party. Oh my gosh! All these donations, y'all are amazing. Thank you so much, my friends. I appreciate all you wonderful people. Uh, I deconstructed the. Pipes and stuff too, but that's okay. We can reach all this through there, through, 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 through the thing. There. It's because my deconstruct isn't on the partial stuff like it's supposed to be. Okay, and then we're gonna do power wire from here up to there. Question: How much is the cost of Big Mac? <laughs> A Big Mac in the U.S. is probably. I don't know. I don't eat at McDonald's like ever anymore, but like two bucks, maybe McDonald's is cheap. So two, three bucks would be my guess. It's been a while. I don't get Big Macs when I go to McDonald's. I just get a double cheeseburger. So that's probably like a dollar and 50 cents or something like that. <laughs> Although the place that I usually go to get a burger, it's like for a double burger is like eight, eight bucks or something like that. Okay. This is looking good. Oh, oh, we have petroleum. We're getting bits of petroleum. Nice. Nice. We have petroleum. All right. I'm going to I'm going to go up to 2000 grams here since we're looking good. Slowly ramp this up till we get to the a full pipe's worth of crude oil here. Probably close to 3 to 350. Okay. All right. Take your word for it. I I haven't been to McDonald's in too long. Do I have a shut off for that large liquid take? I don't. I don't have a shut off. Uh, but that's a good idea. That would be like, uh, how would you do a liquid? Is that, is that a, so that would be something that would like be right past this guy would shut off the oil going in here. Once this fills up, I'm not going to worry about that yet. You're just waiting for everything to explode. <laughs> but yeah, that would be something that in the U S big Mac BMI is 557 USD. Okay. All right. Well, apparently I am. Not knowledgeable on Big Mac prices. Okay, all right. Looking good. Looking good, man. Okay. All right, so that's good. So I'm going to need to get liquid into this guy. Need to get water into here. And then a place for this gas to go. So, um, I have... So much salt water here, and I need to clear. I need to clean out the salt water, right? You can't do. Um, I don't think you can feed salt water into an oil well, right? Does it have to be clean water? I don't think it could be polluted or salt. Uh, extracts crude oil. Crude oil using clean water. Okay. So uh, I, what I want to do is. Do a desalinator right here. That's definitely higher than you thought it was for a Big Mac. Uh, if someone is interested, global prices for a Big Mac. <laughs> what a great link. The Big Mac index. <laughs> you know, pollution index. You know, economy index, those are all important, but Big Mac index, that's the really important thing to know about. The Big Mac index, you gotta, gotta keep online with that. Gotta stay up to date with the Big Mac index. Okay. I'm just gonna run this right off this power line here. And so I have a pump here that's backed up, so I can use this pump to do this. I don't think we'll ever overuse this pipe and we want to do 
I don't need to ins um I don't need to insulate the pipe until we get outside of where all this warm water is. So we're gonna do that. Insulated pipe into clean water. It's gonna go down here. And we're gonna bring it across. We'll get that started because I have a printable. Potent potables. Uh bristleberry short. The Big Mac here in Brazil is cheaper than the USA. Finally, something here is cheaper. <laughs> nice. Oh, you're in Brazil? I guess I didn't know that. Where you that's where you were, Moonho. That's cool. Hey, look at that. Look at that. We're getting some frickin' petroleum. And it's at negative seven degrees in there. What is the freezing point of petroleum? Is the question. Just to make sure. I think it's really low, right? Negative 57. Doesn't look like we're anywhere near the freeze. Oh, negative 40 down here. It looks like we're in we're in comfortable range around here. So I shouldn't have to worry about the petroleum freezing in there. Okay, good. It's actually a rather unified factor for the living cost and income power of individual countries. Okay. I could see that. Since McDonald's is so prolific, the price of one of their major products would be an important determining factor on how prosperous a country is or their economy or something. It's kind of crazy. Okay, so this is the water. Uh, yes, yeah, so it's going to go this way. Oh my god. And another six gifted subs from Saucer. My god. Thank you, Saucer. That's a welcome or welcome back to Spoonwood, Harry Messy, Bullet Stops, Programmatic, No Man's Ham, and Baby Master Child Lord. <laughs> Baby Master Child Lord. Some awesome names there. Thank you so much, Saucer. You are so generous, my friend. Baby Master Child Lord. Just trying to lurk. Bring it out of Lark to, to, to get that. <laughs> Nietzsche was in your spot. <laughs> nice, nice. Right, so now I just need to power this thing. Um, let's see, the power. Um, the power is potential 480. 480, so I should be able to power both those guys with this power line. Okay, there we go. Oh my god, and another five gifted subs from Saucer. Oh my god. Triptide testing don't click unstoppable barrel and starts at storm. Oh my gosh, you're trying to take all the top top gifted sub spots. You're a, you're a crazy person. You're a crazy person. I love you. Thank you so much. Alright, so let's check if we got... Okay, 61 degree water. Alright. Cool. Uh, I didn't even think about it. We're flowing right by this thing. We'll have to change that eventually, but that should be okay. Oh my god, and another five. Oh my god, Mr. Laboa Hukatak. Big a third of Furto to be a slain. Man, I, I didn't even know all these people were here. I guess we got lots of lurkers. Holy crap. Thank you so much. No, Roadhouse did that one. <laughs> Great. Great. So now Roadhouse and freaking Saucer are having a gift subathon. I don't think there's enough viewers for you to really have this uh, <laughs> competition. But alright, this is working. Emitting crude oil at... Just tell me the temperature it's emitting at. What's the temperature of this crude oil? I'm wondering if it is... Does it emit the crude oil at the temperature of the water? I don't actually know. Oh my god, is this a challenge? You guys are challenging each other to gift, gifted sabathon. This is crazy. Oh my god, ten more from Saucer. There's not going to be a subless person in this stream soon. Oh my god, Saucer, thank you. Fax told you, Celestin, Dustpan, Hot Strike, Oracant, Ricky Stash. Oh my god, y'all are crazy. <laughs> Mike drops, freaking crazy people. So, what's the temperature of this oil coming out? <laughs> I can't tell. Still negative 11. It looks like it's going up a bit, right? So, I think the oil... It's putting out... Thanks for subscribing to the channel. 
Uh, instead of bid war, this is a gift sub war. It is. It's a freaking gift sub war. Man, much love to you, you, you wonderful peeps. You wonderful people. Oh my god. Oh my god. Y'all are awesome. Okay. Cool. This is looking good. We're going to continue to ramp this up. 2,500. Saucer's the man. Saucer Roadhouse, all you people are the people. Man, woman, genderless, neutral. You're all awesome. You're all amazing. Okay, let's uh, let's check that. Change that to 2,500. Okay. Oh my god, it's never ending the sub, the sub, the sub song. You identify as Kanye West. <laughs> so you're gonna run for president? I'd vote for you, Saucer. I'd vote for you. Unless you're gonna make people eat Big Macs all day. Then maybe I'd still probably vote for you. Okay, 2,500 at 370. It looks good. Just making sure it's still immediately turning to oil. Good. Or to petroleum. It's a GG right there. <laughs> your only platform position is making people watch your stream. Then I would definitely get behind that position. <laughs> I support this candidate. All right. All right. We're getting a good amount of petroleum. I don't know that I have enough to actually start doing like a petroleum... Uh, petroleum generation power generation thing yet. Okay, that's good. Um, so this guy's going. What I do need is... So the next thing I need to do is I actually need to make a an industrial complex somewhere so I can do things like put my natural g gas generators, possibly petroleum generators and that generators and that kind of stuff. Happy Friday to all. What's up, Marge Carp? Happy Friday to you, my friend. Hope you're having a good one. I'm gonna dig all this out. Yes. Cause I want this this oil needs to be able to drop out of here. Need two kilograms a second for one petrol boiler. Uh, oh, okay. So with the amount of oil we're putting in now, we actually have a little bit more than we need for one petroleum boiler. Cool. Uh, for one petroleum generator. Nice. Okay. So I currently don't have anywhere for this gas to go. So where do I want to put... Where The next thing to decide then is where do I want to put my industrial complex here? It's going to cause a lot of heat... I'm going to want to block it off and stuff. Um, what is it? Control Z? What's the Alt Z? What's the screenshot button? Save before I press some buttons that like does a quick load into a save that I lost or something. Shift Z? Alt X? Alt Z? No, there's a button for a screenshot mode. I can't remember what it is. Crap, I don't know what it is. <laughs> Alt. Uh, you like the setup for dupes peeing in their suits? <laughs> yeah. That was uh, Aptom. Yeah. Recommended something like that. <laughs> Alt F4. Pretty sure it's not that. Pretty sure it's not that. But thanks for that tip. <laughs> Alt F4 for cheats. Okay. Well, I wanted to zoom out, but I can't remember the button, so I'm not zooming out currently. Um, okay. So where do I want to set this up? I kind of want it to have be a, like right around over here. I know it's going to generate heat, but I want it to be someplace I can get to pretty quickly from my base. So if I like mine out this area, if water falls down here, does anybody hear it? Um, we have a pretty decent pool for runoff and stuff. So I should be clear if I do. Let me actually, um, I wanted to dig this out a little bit more too. I do that, dig that out there, insulated tile, give us a little more, oh, I could have used this salt water for my oil wells, you know what, I should probably do that, shouldn't I, I actually should do that, does the magma evaporate ever, or does it accumulate until that space is full, uh, what happens with any vent, if it gets um, filled up past over on top of it, what it does is it overpressurizes. So like the saltwater geyser, it wants to erupt in 20-something seconds. But um, because it's underneath water, um, it should say overpressure, I believe. So let me I just want to see it say that. Overpressure. So it's going to be the same deal with the magma, with the volcano. 
It's the the magma's gonna build up until it goes above these guys, and then it'll overpressurize and won't produce magma, I believe. So the vent itself overpressurizes. Okay, nice. We got petroleum. We'll eventually do something with it. We're not gonna do anything with it yet. Uh, but yeah, actually, I want to change potential load of this power line is 960. Um, I actually want to do a pump here for this. Why is there steam? Oh, is there? Is this water? Is the temperature of this creating steam? It is. I don't want to pump this steam out, so I'm just going to deconstruct this guy. So I'm going to actually use a separate pump so I don't use too much of that other water. Because I think... How much water does this use? A, a thousand grams a second? Ooh, free steel. Uh, I probably need to look up a, a calculator to see if this one salt water geyser would pr produce enough water for three oil wells or oil reserve reservoirs. I think it would. Just because I don't want to use up this water. I mean, we do have plenty. Uh, actually, I have to do a desalinator. All right, we'll save that water for something else. Eventually, I'll want to use it. Okay, so I need to set up the oil well on this guy. So let's do a similar build to that. And I haven't started making my industrial complex like I just said I would. But I will. I will eventually. So utility. Oil well. I want to do the same build where we do airflow tile one, two. Ventilation. Uh, I'm not going to do the gas pump yet because we're going to have to fill that in to get... Well, actually, this one doesn't have oil on top of it. But I do still want it to be a vacuum, so I'm going to do the same thing. So we'll go something like... Like this. Cancel those two guys so we can get above it. I was up above him. There. And it'll be something like... Yeah, two spaces, so like this. Kind of a drip lock thing right there. Uh, once you have five patrol generators, their polluted water output is enough for three oil wells with a bit extra. Ah, okay, that's right, the whole water positive thing that, um... Uh, Francis John talks about why he loves um, petroleum so much because the water positive process thing. Okay. All right, it's almost time for a first break. Let's get a second oil well set up. I still need to find my third oil well. I actually want to dig out this entire biome. I just need to make sure that this liquid pump, uh, I don't mess up my placement so that we stop pumping oil into our uh, petroleum boiler. I actually want to dig out this entire biome and make this basically a big oil tank. Big oil tanker in here. Yeah, I might actually need to move this sooner rather than later down to down here, I'm thinking. Uh, plumbing. Liquid pump. Do this out of gold. About like right there. And this would be insulated pipe. Go out. And up to there. And then power. Basically, I'm swapping this pump for this pump. Because this this all this oil will flow down here. Okay. Hukatak, uh, I, I guess that's thank you in a language that I don't understand. But nice. <laughs> Hey, there we go. Natural gas. This is doing what we want it to do. Perfect. Natural gas is going up in there. And then the oil gets in the way. Okay, perfect. So what I want to do um, for now, natural gas generators produce polluted water, don't they? Yeah, carbon dioxide and polluted water. <laughs> You're welcome, I think, <laughs> for what they said. Natural gas, and um, that's the same thing with um, petroleum generators. So if I were to make a petroleum generator, natural gas generator type of thing, 
I could do that like right in here. Maybe maybe this is where I would do my. Uh, I want an industrial block in a different place. I think I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna do. Yes, right in here. Let's dig out an area for a, a generation, a power generation station, basically here. Three, four. We go across kind of like this to make a uh, make a power generation station here. Power generation nation station. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Unlocks power you had never even knew you had. Oh, I knew I had it. Oh, crap. <laughs> you stupid. You stupid duplicate. All right. All right, it's fine, it's fine. Oh, two of them did it. Oh, my God, you are really stuck. Oh, my God, they're so... They're just so stupid. They're just so stupid. They just want to die. Uh, my duplicates trying to kill themselves again. Why are you so stupid? Why is stupid? You so stupid. So yesterday I made a or I watched a YouTube video um for it was uh it was talking about UHF rewatching UHF. Okay, are you really not able to dig through there? Okay, and uh, it was reminding me of all of all the great great lines and things in UHF. And, uh, the, uh, the karate instructor who calls everybody stupid is basically what we are yelling at these people for. Speaking of, I haven't looked at my skills for a while. I need to actually, uh, probably give you digging. Oh, God, your morale. Okay, your morale is super low right now because you're stuck. Uh, so you're a, you're a constructor. Ren's a digger. Lear is a digger, and we're doing construction. Nice. You you got you got all the skills. You like digging too. Um. Sure. I don't want to get too high on their morale, or too too. Overdoing it right here. We'll wait till they love. Well, you know what? They'll be able to get out if I just give at least one of them digging, right? So you're gonna be my constructor. You're gonna be my digger. So we're gonna give you digging. And I'll give you that anyway, because your your morale will go up once you can get through here. Yeah, just give him the digging skill. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, that should let that person out. Okay, now we should be good. Um you like giving every duplicate digging so they can dig themselves out of their own stupidity? Yeah. You see that Ren lacks a W. Would you be willing to change that? <laughs> sure. Sure, Ren. I can make Ren Ren. Ren. You're not the real Ren. What'd you do with the real Ren? I killed her. I killed him. I killed him and took his place. Okay, so once they finish... Oh, I didn't want this to get dug out. Did, that, did pressure cause that? I think I want this to be like the bottom of my oil tube here. Is what I'd like to do. Go do that. Uh, dig out these guys and then fill them in. Actually, I want to just do this. Fill that in and then unfill it in. You seen a game have both a Ren and a Ren before? <laughs> a Ren and a Ren. I'm so co so confused. Oh Jesus! Frickin' sand. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to do uh, a bit of a room where we are do, like, probably petroleum generators and also, um, what's the other guy? Um, uh, natural gas generators in there. So I'm going to need to extend my power line there. Okay, good. That's almost done. Once that's done, we can deconstruct this guy. And I can start digging out all this to let the oil... The oil must flow. Let the oil flow down into this area. Um, You know what I'm also going to need? I'm going to need the water to flow down there. So... Liquid bridge. 
insulated pipe. To there. I'll need to dig that out, but I'm going to wait till this thing's online first. And once we get this thing online, I will we will take our first break of the day. I cannot believe the gifted subs today have been amazing. Thank you so much, Saucer and Nietzsche and... Uh... Who else was it? Roadhouse. All you wonderful... I think... If Pie Boy is here, he'd probably be doing it. Just all you wonderful, amazing, generous people. Crazy and awesome. Okay, so we're going to dig that. Put that in there. Okay. Just want these power lines to be done. Good, you're doing that. Beautiful. Very nice. So that will be the crude oil. So now I can deconstruct you. And I can dig out all this. There. And once those pipes are cleaned out, I can deconstruct these pipes. And I could probably increase my uh, oil coming through the uh, petroleum boiler again. Okay. Uh, can they get down here now with that being separated? I don't think they can, actually. Let me do this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Do that across to there and dig that out. Okay, look at our petroleum boiler vacuum. Oh man, it's so good. So good. So stinking good. All right, so we're at 2,500. Let's go up to 3K. 3,000 grams a second. Are we about to cycle yet? We still have uh, like 300 degrees to go before we cycle. Why not just deconstruct them now that it's just crude falling into crude? Deconstruct what? I don't know what you're talking about. Deconstruct them what? You're surprised your digital avatar did not try to kill itself this session yet? This is the yet is most likely key. Well, two, two duplicates did get themselves stuck, but I don't think you were one of them. So, well done. You have improved. Your survivability skill has improved by one. Okay, uh, so this just needs to be t powered. Um, 720 watts, so I actually can do this one. Uh, oh, I can't reach that guy because this needs to be dug out. Yep, that's right. Those pipes were in the pump you deconstructed a minute ago. Um, I don't want to deconstruct any of these. Oh, you're talking about the ones that I did deconstruct? Okay. Another one of those chat delay lag things. I already deleted them. Okay. All right. <laughs> chat delay rant. Okay. So somebody's coming to deconstruct that. Freaking hell. They deconstructed the damn thing again. All right. Uh, Freaking hell, man. Where's my deconstruct thing? It should be on buildings, not all, please. Buildings, not all. Frickin' hell. There, buildings. Good. It'll overload the circuit once you add the second gas pump. I know. That's what I'm thinking about. Um, I'm actually thinking of changing changing out. Is this the power transformer I'm using? Yeah. You want to change out the power transformer? Just do another one. Um, let me change out a little bit of power stuff here. I need to take my break, but there's always one more thing to do. Do this so I can do a power line through here. I think I want to do a second. Uh, let's do a large. I should probably do a large power transformer here anyway. Yeah, I'm gonna have to upgrade the wiring if I do that and all that. Um, I should probably just do a second power transformer. I'm gonna do this. I can just get rid of all these extra wires here. And I want to do a wire bridge here. All right, I'm going to take my break here. So real quickly, my friends, I'm a Sam Stretch user restroom. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you're enjoying the auction not included. We have a freaking petroleum boiler. I'm very excited. 
I was hoping we would get this done pretty quickly and that things wouldn't break and it looked like it worked pretty well So I'm pretty happy with it. So uh, quick 60 second worth of ads will I stand up stretch use restroom and when we come back we all work on getting the rest of the stuff built do things like um, maybe get a um, what you would call it a uh, an industrial brick thing going on so y'all rock see in just a bit my friends